All right, so in this week, uh, the challenge, we needed to create a projectile item. And so let's take a look at how we would do that. The first step is, well, assuming you have a player already, we're going to start our new scene. Our new scene can be anything. I like to do an area 2D as a base uh, so I can destroy it later, um, depending on the collision. But that is kind of a different video. All right, so let's add something. Let's just give it a collision and we can give it uh, maybe just the icon as the base and we can kind of make it look like a bullet. And obviously we can maybe make it a little bit smaller and we'll call this bullet. Now, at this point, what we'll do is we will add a script. Now in this script, it's kind of important. We essentially need to move it in a direction. I will move it only on the X axis with a variable speed times direction and times delta. For the speed, I'm going to give it a speed of 300. For the direction, I'm going to give it a direction uh, of 1 by default. Now what we can do is if I go to my world, I can add a physics process function, my player. And inside of here, what I want to do actually is I want to load the bullet. So we're going to basically preload the bullet scene. And what I can do is I can create the bullet. Now, how do I do this? Well, I can say variable bullet temp is equal to bullet dot instantiate. And then all we need to do now is simply add child bullet temp. Like so. Now, the cool part about this is that I can change the direction of the bullet. Right? So I can say uh, bullet dot temp dot direction is equal to one or negative one, right? So at this point, this is kind of the left or right. Uh, additionally, though, what we want to do is we want to check for the input. We can say is action just pressed UI accept. And this will only create the bullet now if I hit the space bar or the UI accept. But now let's close this. We'll hit play. And we can see that it goes to the left. And that is because the direction is negative one. But if I do one, you can see that it goes to the right. So of course, this is up to you on how you want to kind of uh, do right, left, up, down, whatever. Uh, obviously, in this case, it is on the x axis, right? So if I actually did y over here, this would now go down. And if I switch the direction over here to negative one, you will see that it goes up. All right. So that's pretty much all four directions. Uh, now, if you want it to go at an angle, then you would have to switch the position X and the position Y uh, or adjust both of them, essentially. So if I did this, this would actually also go at an angle. So that's kind of a quick math tutorial, essentially, as well. Uh, so that's it for this challenge. It was a pretty fun and easy challenge. The basic idea of it is to understand instantiation uh, and add child. And you can also change different things inside of that uh, child or scene that you're creating. So uh, we're also checking for the space bar, which is pretty common. So that's pretty much it. And I will see you hopefully next week.